Yo, yo, come in, come in, hurry up, pull up, come closer, fuck, Bugsy Malone, man part one, ridiculous, out of this fucking world, like, out of this fucking universe, that shit was stupid, she was so full, like, he different, he nice with it, uh, we going straight to part two right now, man, Bugsy Malone part two, fuck it, it's here, dropped in 2019, a couple years ago, oof, Almost 13 million views, my nigga. Ah, and it's all like four minutes. I can't wait to get into it, man. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm looking forward to it. So, I ain't even gonna say too much. It's dubs and vowels out there every day. You know what time it is. Let's get to it. Oof. Bugsy. Let's go. Yo. Mmm. Ooh. Cooks him along. Let's go. Switch up. You know he done switched up. New new watch, ice, the whip. You know he done leveled up. Let's go. No. Listen. I hit the top like a don't know what. Now five runs play the whip. He's man trying to take my spot when I'm sitting at home with writer's block. Ah. He's not an MC as eloquent as me. Let me get that clear. And my accountant said I can make a million and not make a track this year. Now how's that for a turnover? Uh -huh. I made a G lay and a holster. Felt like I looked in the mirror when I seen the new JD poster. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And they sold out so fast. They want me to sign contract like they're O2 or Volder. In exchange for exposure. But still, I don't feel any closer to the ah. closer. Why did I want to be a gangster? When will I get rid of this pain? Feels like I'm in handcuffs. I want to fly to the south of France. I want to learn how to salsa dance. Uh -huh. The chef come here. Because everybody in the restaurant kept watching, man. And I'm thinking, wait, are they watching, man? Did he think I'm a prick? Already just secret fans. Blessed uh -huh. by God. Fear no man. But my heart still beats when I see a police uh -huh. was hungover. In Fuka, I couldn't stay sober. I needed a break from pulling a straight face. I don't play poker. Ah. I was out there looking at the pelicans. Stroking the tigers and elephants. MCs all fighting for relevance. But I'm on the next level of eloquence. Where do I get... Yo, MCs fighting for relevance. But I'm on a different level of eloquence. Like, bro, I'm... Ah, oh, Bugsy, my nigga, you too nice with it, let's go. MC's all fighting for relevance, but I'm on the next level of eloquence. Let's go. Where do I get it from? Did I get it from him? Could it be a white, could it be a black thing? Ooh, he in a rave, my nigga. He got the stars in that bitch. Sheesh, look at the fucking stars, my nigga. Where do I get it from? Did I get it from him? Could it be a... Look at that, my nigga. He got the stars in that bitch. He just chilling, driving around the city. He... Oh, he doing good. He in a good place right now. He doing good, you know? Oof. Nice. Nice. Why could it be a black thing? Must be the reason I'm the captain. Must be the reason I overlapped him. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Me, I could have got relegated. Imagine I would have hesitated. Uh -huh. Where would I be if I never made it? But I did. Now I'm in a new set. Oh, shit. Hold up. Is that an umbrella? The double R came with an umbrella. That's that shit he talking. That's the shit he in. The double R. The Rolls Royce came with an umbrella. You buy a car and it comes with an umbrella. That's some classic shit. Let's go. Imagine I would have hesitated. Where would I be if I never made it? But I did. Now I'm in a new seven bedroom crib with spotlights in the ceiling. It's sick. No bean bag. I've got a Lamborghini on the ramp when I don't use it. I've got a grand piano in front of the Mona and everything cocaine white. But I don't get to see it much these days because I'm always out taking a flight. Thinking ah. about before it all went bad. I never got dissed off my real dad. Now we mm -hmm. tell people that I never give him anything as if he was there from scratch. How did he get so negative between old friends and fake relatives? Yeah, he's like the dad wants some money now. Like, bro, you was never here when I needed you. Now that I blow, that I've blown up, you trying to come around? Like, and now you tripping because I ain't giving you shit? Nah, my nigga, you gotta pipe down. And this goes to all my friends and family and shit who wasn't here when I was trying to get it out the mud, and now they showing up later when I. When I got it, it's like, no. Nah. anything as if it was there from scratch. How did he get so negative between old friends and fake relatives? I've come quite far when I reminisce to get rid of these toxic energies. Uh -huh. My friend tells people that I put money on his head. As if I'm still pissed off. I mean, his friends were about year nine. And he tried to get my door kicked off. Cocaine's one hell of a drug. Yeah, I've seen what he does. I watched my fall from the mountains. Turn from a bad boy to a scruff. I'm still out here holding it up. I'm still backstage holding a cup. Dark is still my co-defendant. I'm in a film about money and drugs i told my agent tell guy richie you don't need to pay me as i was watching snatch that's my all-time favorite gangster movie i ended up in the gr singing irish songs to the ukulele sophisticated conversation yo i like how part two's going you know part one he was talking about demons and shit that he was dealing with he was in a really bad place just 
addressing certain situations that had transpired, the evening news and all that shit. But part two, he's still addressing some issues with a lot of like close people and shit. But he's in a really good space. He's just chilling it, talking about his life, where he's at right now, you know, and just being like thankful, like you know. He's in the car reminiscing about what it took to get here, all that shit. He's just chilling. I like that. He's in a really good space. That's good. Proud of you, bro. Appreciate that. Let's go. Got me feeling so creative. I feel detached from reality. Now I'm on a footballer's salary. I flew to Rome and the roof of the Sistine Chapel looked like an art gallery. Me, I got close. <laughs> nice. It's insanity. On the roadside moving raggedy. Now uh -huh. I'm in a vat again, thinking strategy. Can't think of an MC in my category. All this from a one bedroom flat. I wanted a reminder not to look back. That's the reason why I got king of the north tattooed right across my six pack. And the artist came from Italia. The home of the mafia. I'm never in debt. I'm a Lannister. They know I'm a bit different. And the artist came from Italia. I'm never in debt. I'm a Lannister. Like, it's levels to this shit. Now he's hitting us with the metaphors and shit. I like that. Come on, Bugsy. The Sistine Chapel. The ceiling look like an art gallery. Levels to this shit. My nigga flex. Oh, that's the reason why I got king of the north tattooed right across my six pack. And the artist came from Italia. The home of the mafia. Uh -huh. Never in debt. I'm a Lannister. You know I'm of a different caliber. Mm -hmm. I climbed to the top without a banister. And last year got smashed. No manager. Mm. I can say what he want. But I'll never let anyone assassinate my character. It's true, so true. Relationships don't work. True. Never let anybody assassinate my character. Reputation is very important. What people think of you. A lot of niggas be like, I don't give a fuck what you think about me. But reputation is very important. You can't let anybody speak careless on your name. You gotta address that shit. Not everybody. Because some people just bark. They don't bite. But you gotta know when that dog's gonna bite, you know? And deal with that shit. If niggas fuck up your name, bro, every time you try to market yourself, every time you try, every time you try to get a bag, that's your name. Your name is attached to that. So if niggas fuck your name up, your reputation, you ain't never gonna get that bag, my nigga. Guard your fucking reputation. Guard that shit, my nigga. Luke, don't trip. I ain't never gonna let nobody play with my fucking name, my nigga. We gonna scrap. I'm gonna pull up. Try me. Man can say what he want. I'll never let anyone assassinate my character. Some relationships don't work. And the separation hurts. Uh, I know these are simple words, but I always told her I loved her first. I used to be so immature. Mm -hmm. Even though the love was pure. Uh -huh. I was never always all yours. Some of them nights on tour, you could have walked out through the open door. Mm. And the love turned into a war. Now I'm gonna buy you a house. Just so you know you're secure. Ha! Ooh, I, li I like how he transitioned it. From all the shit he was talking about, and he tossed in a little love and romance, just a little quickie couple bars about his love life. Nice, that's a nice touch. And now he about to hit the melodies. That's crazy. I'm gonna run that back. Some of them nights on tour, you could have walked out uh -huh, from the open uh -huh. door, Woo. and the love turned into a war. Mm. Now I'm gonna buy you a house, just so you know you're secure. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Let me get it off my chest. Turns out no matter how much money I make, I still can't pay to correct. All the trauma, it still feels fresh, but never again will that get me depressed. Uh -huh. I'm going out as a legend as long as I'm known as Manchester's best. Let's go, let's go. You know, I like how he ended it. He's like, yo, sometimes, like, even after making it, blowing up, having all this money, all this success, sometimes I still can't get over the trauma. It still feels fresh. But it's different now because I would never, ever let it get me depressed. I'll feel it, but I can deal with it better now. That's progress. That's good. Proud of you, bro. Appreciate you for giving us this. This is fucking legendary. This is epic. This is top tier, god tier type shit, my nigga. This is 2019. I bet by now in 2021, he's in a whole bigger space right now. Like, he's in a better, way better place than he was two years ago. So, I can't wait to see what he does in part three. Hey, Bugsy, once again, you did it. It's fucking crazy. Four minutes, but it's so packed with substance and material. He's just so fucking good. Like, I don't know how the fuck you do it. I know a lot of niggas who would hop on a four-minute track and just not even do shit. Like, 
four minutes just wasted. But this nigga makes the most of every fucking bar. No filler. You know, every fucking bar. It's something. It's something. It's something. It's something. And a little melody at the end. Oh, it was orgasmic, my nigga. It's these little things. These little things that you do that you add to elevate the song. They just spice it up. You feel me? Ah. Okay. Woo. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that good shit. You know what, you know what it is. You know what we do out here, my nigga. Shouts out to everybody who spam Bugsy Malone. Man123 in the comment section. Once again, salute. I'm going to catch y'all on part three. Yeah. Let's get it.